Hello everyone, my name is Nomist, and welcome back to episode 2 of FTL. Now uh, we are picking up here exactly where we last left off. We just finished fighting this uh, pirate scout, and we got a, a new crew member. And based on comments, a couple of you guys left comments that uh, perhaps you would like crew uh, members named after yourselves. So that's what we have done. I have put myself in the captain's seat of our Kestrel uh, class ship. We've got Joaquim manning the thrusters, uh, the engine room. And we've got Hydro manning the shield. So we got one more character left here, Layla, who uh, has yet to be named uh, after a subscriber or a viewer. So if you would like to have your name here, where Layla is, uh, manning the weapon systems, which is a pretty sexy position, if I do say so myself. Leave me a comment below. First one I see will get the uh, dubious honors of being in charge of our weapon system. Okay, so let's just recap what we did. We fought a few people last time around. We uh, had some damage done to our ship, as you can see, by our hull integrity. We, I think we need to find a, like a repair station or like a store uh, before we can actually repair our ship, so... Uh, luckily, we didn't take too much damage, but we did take some. We picked up a third weapon in the first episode. A, uh, what was it here? It's a laser, a heavy laser. Uh, so that's cool. We're still waiting uh, to get enough scrap so we can uh, upgrade our uh, power here. So we need a little bit more power to power that uh, extra weapon. Uh, so that's probably the next thing we're going to buy, unless we can repair our hull first. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump to the next location. The rebel fleet is close behind us, not too close. We could probably... Uh, I don't think we want to go down there, because then we can't go hit up this location. Or no, we can. Okay, let's, let's go here. I think they're going slow enough that we should be able to check this out. A small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. So it's a rebel rigger. And we'll see what kind of weapons they have. We do have, uh, we should have some missiles now. I think we picked some up. Yeah, we got six up here. Okay, six missiles. Um, good to go. All right, same strategy, going after the shields first. Let's fire both our weapons there. I'm gonna send... Uh, should I send my character anywhere? I don't know. I think Nomus will stay where he is. Okay, good. Go after their weapon system now. Let's knock that out. They're missing both their shots. Nice! You have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Accept their offer of two FTL f uh, fuels. Uh, what's, the, what's the term? Is it fuels? Two, two units of FTL fuel, that's what it will say. Uh, one uh, drone, I think this is, and then nine scrap. You know what? I feel like, I, I think we feel like uh, spilling some blood today. We're gonna, we won't accept. We're gonna go for, we're gonna go for broke here. We're gonna take him out. Bam. Wham bam, because we needed more scrap anyway, so we're good with that and we got an extra missile. To boot. Not too worried about the drones since we don't have a drone system right now. Okay, so 20 current scrap. Let's take a look. What do we need to upgrade? 20. Perfect. Let's upgrade our power. Accept that. Toss one more unit of power in there. We now have three weapons at our disposal, uh, which should let us uh, kind of save on missiles because we can just use both of our our uh, burst laser and our heavy laser uh, from here on out. So things are looking good. Didn't take any damage that round. Uh, so that's awesome. Let's go jump to this location. Start heading towards the exit. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. This jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection. That will happen sometime, so we'll just go ahead and jump. Uh, we're gonna go to the store, but first we're gonna hit up this location. This beacon here. Try and hit up as many as we can before we exit. 
You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. We can either intervene to defend the outpost or avoid the conflict. Now they don't have a very uh, strong hull, so I'm tempted to take these guys on and get some more scrap. Because uh, we are going to need some more scrap if we're going to go to the store and try and repair our hull. So let's go ahead and intervene here. And make sure I got my fingers on the hotkeys. Uh, detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Okay, let's go after these guys. Looks like they got an ion blaster and a laser. Okay, we missed. There we go. Take out their weapons. Nice. And just finish them off here. Bam! So easy. So clean. Two FTL. Uh, units of fuel. One drone and ten scrap. Take all that. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Nice. One more missile, one more drone, 16 more scrap. That should be enough to repair our hull now. So let's go ahead and jump to the store. We can hit up the exit from here. We can also hit up uh, this other beacon from the store as well. We probably have enough time. Might even have enough time to do this one that one, and then head to the exit. We'll see how things look here. The space station here has a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Awesome. Well, it's tempting to buy some stuff, but I think we want to save our scrap for the uh, repair of our hull. Oh, we can just repair it here, hey? Okay, well, let's just repair all here for eight. That was a lot less than I expected. If we had the scrap, we could buy another crew member. We got different races uh, here. The Zoltan are allies of the NG. Their innate energy can power ship systems. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Uh, provides power to occupied system. Max health reduction, uh, reduced to 70. 15 damage to enemy crew on death. Cool. Except for the health thing. That kind of sucks. Uh, but we don't really have enough money for any of these. We'll just take a look at the different uh, alien races here. Alice in the NG. It's unclear if the NGs are partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it's well known that they make exceptional engineers. Repair speed is doubled. Combat damage inflicted is halved. So there's always a drawback for whatever boots they have. Uh, this crew's skills, he's got a plus five evasion when manning uh, the pilot as well as uh, the engines, 10% faster recharge when manning shields, 10% faster recharge when manning weapons. Uh, these are actually all the same for all these three. You can buy some more FTL uh, fuel, more weapons. We could sell some stuff. No, I don't think we want to sell any of our weapons. We could get drone. No, we can't actually. It's too too much. But that's what the uh, drone control looks like. We can get a crew teleporter. These are the uh, different systems that we can add to our Kestrel ship. Or we could save up for cloaking as well, which can be upgraded a few times. Actually, all these can be upgraded a few times. All right. Well, that's all we have enough for right now. Um, do we want to buy any weapons though? Let's buy one missile, and it's probably a good idea to buy some FTL fuel. Who knows when we'll run out of that stuff. Alright, so we've already, uh, I guess that was the store. I don't know why, okay, never mind, I got confused. Let's hit up this one. I thought that was just a merchant uh, out on a random beacon. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Uh, I think we should. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools threw, uh, flew through a pilot field sector in their haste and I fear for our cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. 
Oh. You're a less incompetent captain? You're saying that I'm incompetent? Is that what you're saying? Well, I accept it. At least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here is the last known location. This could be a mistake, guys. Add a quest marker to your map. Okay, let's take a look here. There's the quest. Ooh. I don't know if... I don't think we have enough time to get down there. Um, yeah, I don't think we have enough time, guys. I think we should head for the exit. So that would be one turn, two turns, three turns to get up to the exit. And by then, the rebels are going to be on us, so... I think we're going to have to leave that uh, quest behind. And just head to the next sector. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately, saying, Greetings! Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded this system. Do you have an extra explosive? Uh, we do. A missile weapon. Offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. I think that's what we want to do. I don't want to give them five missiles. That's a lot. Let's give them... Let's just shoot a missile for them. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, we have certain protocols for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our mind isn't exactly what I would call union-friendly. Ah, uh, no. I'm going to decline that. I'm not giving up five missiles. I understand. Good luck out there. We'll try to make a do with what we have. Alright, good luck. The rebels are right behind us. Alright, let's go to the next sector, guys. So here's the pathway of all the different sectors we can visit during our playthrough. We got an NG controlled sector here, a Zoltan controlled. Up at the top, the different colors tell us that the green are civilians, red are hostile, and purple are nebula. And so the nebula, from what I remember, are like, uh, they have like big neb like uh, energy clouds. Kind of that you can fly through that are like uh, electrical storms, kind of like plasma storms, I think, and they could kind of mess with your uh, ship. Uh, so what do we want to see? The Zoltan or the NG? I think I'd kind of like to get an NG, so if we could possibly save an NG from the NG controlled space, uh, that might be cool. Let's go there. You have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic lifeforms, but they're usually willing to help. Okay. Let's, um... Eh, no use in going to the store, really. We don't have any scrap right now. Uh, so if we go down... Well, if we go up to the store, we can always backtrack a little bit easier. Let's go there. Let's go this route. It's kind of an awkward position for the uh, uh, for the store right off the bat. A message arrives. Your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for trade. Yeah, don't want to sell anything. He's got drone control for sale. Same kind of stuff. A little bit more expensive though. We can also get some augmentations here. An FTL jammer. Scramble enemy ships FTL computers, doubling the time it takes for them to jump. Uh, sometimes the enemies will try to run away from you. You can also get a repair arm. Repairs your hull every time you collect scrap, but reduces scrap collected by 15%. There's also a second page here, more crew members. So there's got quite a bit of stuff here we could uh, buy if we can find some scrap. If we were this uh, distress signal, maybe we'll get lucky. You follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. We shall hail them to offer assistance. They respond, help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. We can either try to shield their ship with yours. Uh, don't risk our ship, leave them to their fate. Well, we got a full, we got full health, uh, hull integrity here. Let's uh, try and help them out. You try your best, but only stray. Uh, but one stray rock hits a key structure in the ship. It breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage uh, what you can before leaving, and try not to think about the lost crew. No, that's too bad. But we did get 14 scraps, so that's good. All right, we're up to 20. Oh, we're not. 
We're not going to be able to make it back to the store. The rebel fleet's already already coming in. Um, let's go up here. You come across an asteroid mining colony. Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives are uh, pretty much the same thing the last people said. All right, well, let's offer to launch on their missile. Oh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, same deal. Let's hit up this one. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. We can explore the asteroid field or uh, decide that it's too dangerous. We'll just wait for our FTL to charge. We're gonna wait. Uh, or no, we're gonna explore, I mean. I wanna find some more scrap. Ah, uh, yields nothing of interest. Damn it. All right, let's push on. So from here we can go there. Let's go to this one. Some nice backgrounds. Okay, we got another target in sight here. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small space, uh, rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Attack the automated ship to get the storage cache, or we could avoid uh, provoking the ship. No, we're gonna attack them because we want all the materials we can get. Uh, so attack the shields. They got a drone who's gonna be harassing us a little bit here. Hopefully Hydro can keep our shields up. Okay, good. Let's take out their drone and their weapons if possible. Nice, the drone is disabled. Uh, we'll go after their pilot, why not? And their shields. This should be enough to take them out. Bam! That was easy. We took a little bit of damage there. 20 uh, scrap though, that's awesome. Doubled our scrap. The station uh, was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. You find nothing useful, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so we're up to 40 scrap, that's good. Oh, we got another store here. Let's hit up the distress signal and then we'll head over to the store. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis most likely. There may be someone left alive or else something of value left on board. Let's go board it. If there's someone there, maybe they'll join us. It'd be good to have another crew member. You send an away team to investigate, but there's nothing save for an acidic stench of burnt NG parts. This place is dead. Ah. Not having much luck here. Okay, let's hit up the store. Let's see what they got to sell here. Hopefully we can afford something. An NG ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Ooh, not quite enough for a crew member. Or any of this cool stuff. We'll fix our hull. It doesn't take much. Oh man, not quite enough for any of this stuff either. Look at that firebomb, a pike beam, a small bomb, requires missile, uh, requires missile. Damn it. Probably should have. Uh, Jump to this one first. All right, let's go down here. Maybe we'll find some more scrap here. The NG are waiting uh, you at the beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the NG. Multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interference is aboard your vessel. Uh oh, no, it's not. They insist they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Hold on, let us try to purge the system code. <laughs> okay, I don't want to attack them if I don't have to. Wiping your engine core and shields prov proves useless. Eventually, you uh, trap the virus in the weapon system to purge it, but before you do, the NG grow restless and attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, our shields are down. Uh-oh. This isn't good. All right, get our shields up, Hydro. We need our shields up ASAP. 
Get working on that. Oh god, this isn't good. Okay, uh, shields. Go after the shields. Go, 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 go. Damn it. Put that fire out. Take out their weapons. Oh god. Hang in there. Uh, what else do we want to take out? We got a hull breach. Okay. Wow. That was a little uh, tense. Took some damage too. With the ship destroyed, you detect that the virus has abandoned your ship and disappeared somewhere within the systems of the wreckage. It will likely infect whatever NG ship passes next, but your mission is too vital to risk a reinfecting uh, reinfection by stopping it. Three FTL fuel, one drone, 22 scrap. All right, let's let Nomis uh, get out of there, Nomis. Don't die on me. <laughs> oh my God. Um, get to med bay. Get to med bay. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Hydro. Um, go fix what's left here. That was close. I almost died, guys. Let's get our doors back online here. Okay. Doing good. Everyone back to their positions. Alright, any more damage? No, I think that's it. Alright, let's just wait for our oxygen levels to uh, replenish here. Anything we want to do here? I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good to go now. 98%, that's pretty close. Alright, let's jump to the distress beacon, I guess. You find a number of ships uh, fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Ooh, okay. Our second encounter with the spiders. Send the crew to help. Giant alien spiders are no joke. Leave them alone. Well, we took our chances last time and we got away unscathed. Maybe we shouldn't push our luck this time. Let's leave them. You can't risk fighting some unknown alien on every backwater station you come across. Prepare to jump. Yeah, I think that's a smart idea. If we had some NG, I think uh, we could use them to attack the spiders. I think. But uh, just to be on the safe side, we're going to keep pushing on here. Alright, so either one of these, let's hit this one, it's a bit further away from the Rebels. We could have got some good loot from that uh, distress signal, but I think it was a bit risky. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. The teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck! Uh-oh. A young mantis is a... Uh, in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleport signal and are offering a deal to exchange for the prisoner. Hmm. Side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship. Uh, this is NG controlled space. I don't know if we want to be messing with them. Agree to offer up the mantis in exchange for a bounty. So we could go for probably more scrap and more materials, uh, more supplies, or go for a new crew member, a Mantis. What to do, what to do? Well, we've already got some damage to our hull. I don't know if I want to risk losing more this early in. We're only on the second sector. I think we're gonna offer up the Mantis, get some bounty. Let's do that, guys. 28 scrap, I think we'll take that. NG Caption is delighted and quickly arranges for the transfer of the prisoner. All right, we'll take the scrap. Hopefully that gives us enough to uh, afford something from the next store we visit. 
as well as repair our ship. You have arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. As soon as you arrive, you receive a Federation encrypted message. A rebel ship has been terrorizing the local civilians in this system. Please seek and destroy it. Ah, uh, I don't know if I have time. Well, let's see where it is. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. All right, last fight of the episode, guys. You're able to quickly track down the rebel. Let's hope he's as easy to defeat in combat as he was to find. All right, we're going to throw everything at this guy. Throw everything we got. Send both of our uh, lasers at their shields. Hopefully knock those down. They missed. Okay, let's throw a missile at their weapons. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. We're taking them out. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Well, in that case, you shall not escape because I'm going to disable your FTL drive. Disable your life. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Another 26 scrap, one drone, and two missiles. I think that was pretty successful, guys. We'll take that. And I think that'll do it for this episode. We will be heading into the third sector next time around. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Let me know. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Remember, we still have one crew member left here uh, to name. So leave your name below if you would like that to be named after you. And uh, don't worry, we'll probably be picking up some more crew members in the near future. So... Feel free to uh, leave your name uh, as well for future crew members. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.